Here's what we're going to do. I gave you lots of clues. Do you remember I gave you clues? Right? I'm going to start to approach it by first taking the idea of similar triangles. The first thing that was mentioned, I think Thanura mentioned it, was ratios, but I can't get to ratios. I can't say anything about ratios until I say something about the similar triangles first. Do you agree with that? Is that okay? So for starters, what are the similar triangles? You can see them before you prove them, Nadine. BDQ and BFP. BDQ and BFP. Perfect. So the first line I'm going to say is, in triangle BDQ, and triangle, what do we call it? B, F, P. I'm going to now start to talk about some features. So, <laughs> excuse me, I don't know enough about the lengths um, yet to be able to say something about these being in proportion. Because remember, I measured these, like it's not precise enough, it's not, it isn't in fact equal, okay? So I'm going to instead appeal to angles rather than sides, okay? There's a common angle. There's an angle that's in both triangles. Which angle is that? It's the one right at the top, F, B, P, or of course you could have called it D, B, Q, either of them is fine. I'm going to say D, B, Q, that's a Q, is common. That's all you need to say. Now, in order to get towards equiangular, I only need two angles, and I've already got one. Okay, so what would you like to choose as the other one? Yeah, go ahead, Nick. Wonderful. So I'm about to write that, but before I do that, I want to point out, remember we've, in the past we've made a big deal about getting these vertices, the letters, in order, right? We want them to correspond in the correct order. One of the reasons why we do that is not just so you don't get confused, but also whenever you're naming features down here, if these letters are in order, then you can just use them in the order that they are. Okay, so if I had wanted to use the other angles, like say BQD, can you see how I would have just looked at this? I would say BQD, I don't even need to look at the diagram now. If you look at the order of the letters, BQD will be BPF, because I thought about the letters in order, and sure enough, BQD, BPF, it just matches up, because you thought about it first. Other little minor point, just have a look at the way that I worded this, okay? Corresponding angles, there's no real way to get around saying that. Maybe you said parallel lines here. That's fine, I'm totally okay with that. I like to name more specifically which features I'm talking about because there's lots of parallel lines here and I want to know which relationship you're after. It also is a bit of a hack because it's not very good grammar, but it's, um, it's horrible grammar. But it's actually more descriptive because what it's saying is corresponding angles on these lines that are parallel, which I say this way. And it is important to say this, because you guys know that there's another relationship on, of angles between parallel lines that aren't equal. What are they? Co-interior angles. They're supplementary. So it's important that you put that, not just say corresponding angles. Okay, I've got a pair of angles. I've got another pair of angles. Therefore, and what was that reason again? Just one word? Equiangular. Very good. Yeah, you don't need to prove the third angle. <laughs> Two's enough. Okay. Now, here's the tricky thing. When we were getting, an, when we were talking about these intercepts before, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. BD, BD is fine. It's one of the sides of one of the similar triangles. That looks good, doesn't it? But when you have a look at DF, you're in trouble. A lot of you went straight to DF because you, um, you did what I've trained you to do, which is to have one eye on your working and one eye on your destination, but you've gone a little bit too far. Because look at DF carefully. Let me highlight it for you. Here is DF. If you look carefully, you recognize DF is not a side in a triangle. Do you notice that? DF is not a side in a triangle. It's part of a side in a triangle. Uh, it's a side in a trapezium, but that's not very helpful to me, right? So therefore, you can't make a statement about DF just yet on the basis of this. Because DF has nothing to do with these, or at least I'm going to, get to need some legwork to get there, okay? Now that I've got my similar triangles, I can now say something about the ratios. So what will I do? AC and BD. Well, I don't have AC here. I do have something that's related to AC though, so that's what I'm going to appeal to. I'm going to say BQ on, now I've got to compare it to the corresponding side in the similar triangle. What is the corresponding side? 
What corresponds to BQ in the big triangle? It's BP, right? BP equals BD on BF. Make sense? Little triangle, big triangle, little triangle, big triangle. Reason, and you can't skip this, corresponding sides in similar triangles are in proportion. Okay, can I get a show of hands? How many people got to this step? Hands up straight? Uh, smaller than I expected. Okay, hands down. All right. We should have been able to get to this step. The similar triangles are kind of sitting there staring you in the face. In fact, the hardest part is not proving the similar triangles because as you can see, it's, it's not that much work. The hard part is what comes next. This is true. We want to get to here. So how are we going to do this? Hmm. Eric, do you want to suggest something? You can go over to here, is that what you're saying? Yeah, so you yep. equate BQ Yep, okay. So if you want, I can get from um, this BQ and BP, which I'm actually not really that interested, that was just the, con the, the construction, right? I can go to the sides that I was more interested in by appealing to the fact that, let's see, what am I gonna say? AC over AE equals this. I've done a substitution, and what's the reason? What's your, um, what property are you going to appeal to? Does anyone else see it before I go to Eric? Anyone else see? What, why is this side equal to this side? What, what shape is this? What shape is that? That's a parallelogram, right? Parallel, parallel. And same deal here, the big one. Uh, this is a big parallelogram as well. Is that okay? So I can say that these are equal because opposite sides in parallelograms are equal. So that's a good step. I've clearly gotten closer to where I want to get to because at least I've got AC on there. Now here comes a bit more of the um, manipulation, right? We've got AE and BF. AE and BF, but I want to get down to their components, these guys, okay? Well their components are clearly related together. How are they related together? What is AE? What's it made up of? Yeah, it's made up of two chunks, right? Um, I can write this as AC divided by AC plus CE. Do you agree? That's true, isn't it? And that's clearly better because look, it's got a CE in it and I want a CE. So that's progress. That's good. What about the other side? This is going to be, I don't want BF. I'm going to write that as BD plus DF. You can see it, can't you? Okay, and there doesn't need to be any reasoning supplied because that's just, you know, there are two sides that make up that. I'm going to now pause for a moment because here you have the opportunity to think and I've given you a huge leg up into the question, okay? Do you reckon you could claw your way up from here to our ending? Think carefully, give it a shot. 